Hello, uh, my name is Linnea Noble and this is a demo of a web application created in the course Advanced Web Programming at Linköping University in Sweden. What you see here is the web application itself uh, called OnStage. The application is a listing for amateur, the amateur, amateur theatre plays in Sweden. What you can do is see upcoming plays and filter and search to find the plays that, you're, that are interesting to you. You can search on time interval, title, genre, location, for example. When you find anything of your liking, you can click to enjoy more specific information. What makes this app stand out is that it is created specifically for amateur theatre. This means that you can find the specific information that you want for these kind of events. Uh, like date and time for a set of plays, author, director and so forth. Uh, if you wish to create a new, uh, a new play, you can just click here. Uh, you can choose to put all information in at once uh, or you can just uh, fill out the uh, required parts and add later on some more information. Uh, you can also add more uh, occasions of the play and you can select different genres. If you have already created a Facebook event for the play, you can actually use this field to just copy the information like this and the application will fill out the information for you so that you don't have to fill it in twice. Of course you will love finding this at the bottom when you have already entered all the text so there are still some room for uh, usability improvements. Uh, if you have to, if you want to create an event, you have to log into the application. I'm already logged in here. All the login is uh, handled by Facebook. Uh, so first time I try to log in, I have to accept the rules for this application. Uh, but I've already done it, so I just have to say okay. Um, I can also edit place, but only the ones I created myself, like this one for example. So I can I can add that I actually I'm going to uh, add some uh, nice dancing moves to this as well. So I myself uh, I'm gonna be the choreographer for this play, and well that makes of course makes it more expensive. So I'll just add this one and it will be some drama, musical theater, well that would be enough. Okay, so it's updated now. So let's take a look at some code. So I use the main stack for this application, so I use MongoDB Express AngularJS and Node.js. I use Angular for front-end, Node for back-end, MongoDB for, as a database and Express. Express is like that strange kind of friend who is always, always really friendly and helpful but you can't really really grasp his sense of humor but he's lovable once you get to know him so that's nice. Alongside with this I've used Bootstrap as a CSS framework for styling the best thing about that is that it makes the web page uh, responsive without much e extra effort to be able to run it on mobile devices. I also use Geoman to create my project and Grant to run a server on the local host and to build the project for deployment. So why did I choose these techniques? Well, simply because I understand they are widely used and I wanted to learn more about them. So, let's take a look at the back end first. So, here are my 
here's my app and my roots. And most of these things are created generously by Geoman and also the configurations. And here are, is the API and I use the modules play and user. I have used Mongoose to create my models. Uh, it works really nice with Node.js, I have learned. I haven't tried it without, so I'm not sure uh, what is the best approach, but this has worked really well for me. Uh, so the controller will know all about my object schema and will help me create new uh, plates and so on. So to me, uh, getting the Facebook login to work was the most difficult part of the project. I started up by uh, trying to do my Facebook login at the back end using Passport, which looks a bit like this. Um, uh, I, I couldn't really wrap my head around it and I didn't really like the magic going on where I couldn't see it. And it's really compatible with EGS files, uh, embedded JavaScript files, instead of HTML, uh, which I found didn't really get along with AngularJS. Uh, so it's prob there is probably a good way to do it, but in the end I decided to put all the Facebook communication at the front end instead. So I use um, <clears throat> a login controller which take care of all the Facebook login checking. And I run this when the user opened the, the application, which means I have auto in log if you have already logged in before and you are already logged in at Facebook. Otherwise, you can, of course, uh, choose to create a new, a new user and this will handle it, that as well. Uh, and when once this is done, I can use the Facebook API to get the information of, of the user. Uh, looks something like uh, like this, the, the call for the API. And here I get the information about me, the person who is logged in. I also use this uh, for the, uh, the part where you can use uh, your Facebook event to uh, get uh, some data filled in in the create part uh, and I can only do that with uh, events that are open to the public of course. Well, the rest of the front end is uh, angular magic so I use controllers connected with the views. Uh, that wasn't much interesting but the play controller looks something like this. Uh, so, in app.js I have uh, the app itself and uh, I have uh, my service where I get all my information and do all my backend calls. <clears throat> I call this place but I actually also get the user here so maybe I should call it like data or something. I have the state providers here, which uh, direct the users to the right place in the application. And I also have my own search filter for the first page. And this works really well together with, uh, with uh, ng, ng repeat uh, in Angular. So I simply say use my special filter here. So that will look nice when I start typing football, for example, it was simply pop up right there. So that was all for me. Of course, I would like to do more improvements, for example, map search maybe using the Google API, which I already use when, uh, when creating the specific the specific event. So I use a Google API here, which means it would be quite easy to actually map this on a Google map. 
It will also be great to do some more interaction, like uh, users can rate or write reviews of plays. But I will leave all that to the future. So, thank you very much for listening. Bye.